So hello everyone and welcome to this particular session where we will be discussing the GATE chemical engineering syllabus for the GATE 2022 examination. Okay, so in this particular session, first of all, I will be giving you the weightage of the subjects and then we will be exploring the topics which can be covered in these particular subjects. Okay, so now remember one thing that there are three parts to this particular examination. Okay, the very first part being the engineering mathematics, then you have the general aptitude, okay, and then you have the main core subjects okay that is the chemical engineering subjects okay so here in this particular uh, uh, examination you will be finding that the mathematics hold a weightage of 12 percent general aptitude has a weightage of 15 percent and chemical engineering has a weightage of 73 percent okay so you can say that gate examination is a total of 100 marks okay so out of those 100 marks 12 are taken by mathematics, 15 by aptitude and 73 by the chemical engineering subjects. Okay. So now remember one thing that this 73% holds the key. Okay. Because you will be finding that more or less like many of the people will be able to score good marks in mathematics. They will be able to score good marks in general aptitude. Okay. Because all these things are same for everyone. Okay. But the core chemical engineering aptitude is the thing which matters. And here also you can see that this has a weightage of 73%. Okay. And 73% is a huge number. Okay. So first of all, we'll be covering all the subjects, like what all subjects do we have here? And then we'll be coming on to the topic wise, like what all topics have to be covered in this particular, for this particular examination. Okay. Now see in chemical engineering, there are six major subjects. Okay. One being mass transfer, second being heat transfer. Then you have the chemical reaction engineering. Okay. Then the fourth one is the process control like instrumentation and the process control and fifth one is fluid mechanics and mechanical operations and the sixth one being thermodynamics. Okay, so this is the uh, these are the six core subjects of chemical engineering. Then you have the engineering mathematics as I told you and then the smaller subjects of chemical engineering are chemical technology, plant design and economics and one more is there that is mechanical operations but we have included this mechanical operations with fluid mechanics here. Okay, so these are some of the smaller subjects and then you have the general aptitude which is totally a different section. Okay, now remember one thing that out of those 73 marks of chemical engineering majority marks are taken by mass transfer, CRE, heat transfer, thermodynamics, then fluid mechanics and the process control. And the rest of the marks like uh, uh, some one mark, two mark questions are taken by instrumentation, mechanical operations, process calculations, okay, plant design economics and chemical technology. They don't have much weightage, okay, but remember one thing that any time uh, questions can be asked to you from these particular topics, okay, and you will be finding that these questions are very easy and they are very easy to score as well, okay. So these are generally the subjects which increase your rank and boost your gate score. Okay. Now coming on to the topics which are there for each and every subject. So first of all, the very first subject that we are talking about here is process calculation and thermodynamics. Okay. So the first paragraph here talks about process calculation. Okay. So these are the topics for process calculation and uh, the topics are steady and unsteady state mass and energy balances. Okay. You might have uh, read this in your uh, third semester or fourth semester whenever you have the subject of process calculation including multi-phase okay so multi-phase systems are there multi-component reacting non-reacting and then you have the recycle problem bypass problem pulse calculations and Gibbs phase rule and degree of freedom analysis now remember one thing from this recycle bypass and pulse calculations questions are always asked to you for two marks okay so remember one thing that from process calculations you won't get uh, a weightage of around five to six marks but definitely two to three marks weightage you can always expect from this particular subject okay then you have the thermodynamics and remember one th one thing that thermodynamics generally it comes for eight to ten marks for the gate chemical engineering okay now what are the topics so first and second law of thermodynamics okay application of first law to closed system as well as open systems then you have the entropy thing second law second law of thermodynamics entropy thermodynamic properties of pure substances equation of state residual properties and then you have VLE systems, excess property, residual property, activity coefficient, phase equilibria, and then you have the chemical reaction equilibria. Now, remember one thing, all these topics are very, very important. Okay, like you will be finding that first law, second law, all this uh, you can, you might have already read uh, in your 11th standard or 12th standard, but the terms like fugacity, excess property, chemical reaction equilibria, activity coefficient, phase equilibria, all these constitute towards the major part of the core chemical engineering 
uh, subject. Okay, so remember one thing that these topics are very very important, and this subject has a weightage of eight to ten marks, and definitely you can score very easily if you just understand the concepts from here. Okay, and from thermodynamics, you will be finding that. Questions are both asked, conceptual questions are also asked and as well as numerical questions. Okay, moving on to the next subject, which is about the fluid mechanics and the mechanical operations. So the first paragraph here is talking about the fluid mechanics and the second paragraph here is talking about the mechanical operations. Okay, remember one thing, fluid mechanics is asked to you for, uh, you can say for around six to eight marks. Okay, six to eight marks. And this particular mechanical operations is asked to you around for four to six marks. Okay. And remember one thing that mechanical operations is a very, very simple topic. These four to six marks are easily available for you to score. Okay. But just again, the same thing, you have to remember all the concepts. And once you know them, then you can easily score these four to six marks. Okay. Now, when you talk about fluid mechanics, okay, so what you can do, I'll just be going through the topics like the major important topics. You can pause your screen, take a screenshot of it, okay, so that you have the gate syllabus right in front of you, okay. So here you have fluid statics, surface tension, Newtonian, non-Newtonian fluids, then you have Bernoulli equation, a very important part of fluid mechanics and a very important part for the gate chemical engineering examination. Then you have the continuity equation equation of motion, macroscopic friction factors, again, a very important point which will be asked to you in the interviews as well as in the gate examination. Dimensional analysis, then you have the velocity profiles, flow meters, orifice meter, venturi meter, all these things are very important. Pumps, compressors, again, a very important topic for interview part. Okay, then you have the elementary boundary layer. Not that it is not important for gate, but it is also very important for the interview. Okay, then you have the elementary boundary layer, then you have packed bed, fluidized bed, turbulent flow and uh, velocity profile as well as the pressure drop. All these terms are very, very important. So just make sure that uh, you read them very nicely. Moving ahead, then you have one of the easiest subjects from the core chemical engineering part that is the heat transfer. Again, it has a weightage of 8 to 10 marks. Okay. Or you can say 6 to 8 to 10 marks. Okay. Here you have heat conduction, convection, radiation, three uh, major modes of heat transfer. Then you have the thermal boundary layer, boiling, condensation, heat transfer coefficient, evaporation, double pipe heat exchanger, shell and tube heat exchangers, evaporators uh, and their design. All these terms are very, very important. And here also you can always expect a numerical question as well as a conceptual question. Okay. Then moving on to another very important subject, which is known as mass transfer. Okay. Mass transfer. Again, you can say it will be asked to you for 8 to 10 to 12 marks okay and it is a very important subject both from the interview point of view as well as from the gate examination point of view okay so here you have fixed law diffusion then you have mass transfer coefficient film penetration surface renewal theory momentum heat and mass transfer analogies okay then you have the htu ntu then you have unit operations like distillation absorption leaching drying extraction lle that is liquid liquid extraction humidification dehumidification adsorption and another new topic is entered here which is known as membrane separations okay so these this particular topic that is the membrane separation like microfiltration ultrafiltration nanofiltration this has been included in the gate examination from the last year only that is gate 2021 okay so you can focus more on it like uh, you can uh, focus on it and definitely questions will be asked to you from this particular topic again major numerical questions are asked from this particular subject okay moving ahead then you have the chemical reaction engineering okay so chemical reaction engineering is basically divided into two parts that is cre1 okay and then you have cre2 again this subject also has a weightage of 8 to 12 marks questions are very easy for you to solve okay major questions are asked from cre1 and some conceptual questions are also asked from cre2 okay now what is uh, the syllabus here is theory of reaction rates homogeneous reaction kinetic data, single and multiple reactions, series reactions, parallel reactions. Then you have the enzyme reactions. This is again the latest addition to this particular list. Okay, so this has been included in the gate examination uh, from the last year only. Then you have the non-ideal reactor, RTD, which is known as residence time distribution. Then you have diffusion effects and catalysis, 
rate and perfect uh, performance equation for catalyst deactivation all these uh, terms are very very important and questions are asked to you from these particular topics then you have another part which is known as instrumentation and process control remember one thing process control is a very very easy subject okay no major numerical calculations are involved here and you will be finding that whatever questions are asked to you they are very basic in nature it's just that you have to understand the concepts here okay so first of all co covering the instrumentation part so here you have the sensors transducers okay p and p and id equipment equipment symbols this has been the latest edition then you have process modeling and uh, linearization transfer function dynamic response then you have ppi and pid controllers frequency response where you have bode plots and uh, routh array stability criteria and all the other terms are very very important then you have controller tuning cascade flow uh, cascade control and then you have the feed forward control so this is also a very important part generally students miss this part but remember one thing that this particular part is very very important and from here questions like match the column or even some numerical questions are asked from these particular topics okay again it also has a weightage of around 8 to 10 marks okay Moving on to another subject which is known as plant design and economics. Again, it is a short subject. So here you have a weightage of around four to six marks. Okay, and here you can see principles of process economics, cost estimation. Then you have the total analyzed cost, cost indices, rate of return, payback period, discounted cash flow, optimization process design, because here it includes both the design part as well as the economics part okay and design of equipments like heat exchangers multi-stage contractors okay so remember one thing again a very easy subject which will boost your uh, gate score but students generally they tend to miss this subject okay skip this subject so don't do that moving on to another subject again a very theoretical subject okay it it is completely theoretical numericals won't be asked to you from this particular topic has a weightage of around four to six marks okay and these four to six marks are very very easy to grab because here the questions of match the column will be asked to you okay and match the column if you know one option then you can easily sort out the other options as well okay so what are the topics now remember one thing if you just look at this particular subject chemical technology you will be finding that uh, if you just go through the book of dryden then you will be finding that many uh, uh, many industries they are talking about okay but we don't have to worry about all those industries what we can do you have to read about sulfuric acid phosphoric acid chloralkali then it's about ammonia urea ssp that is single superphosphate triple superphosphate then you have pulp and paper sugar oil and fats petroleum refining you have to read because it is a very important part and questions are definitely asked to you then you have polymerization industries where you have to read about polyethylene propylene pvc polyester synthetic fibers okay so uh, this is again a very easy subject just go through the flow sheets read about the raw materials required catalyst required process description that's it once you read about all these uh, all these industries easily you will be able to score these four to six marks okay moving on to the next part which forms about 12 percent of the gate examination which is the engineering mathematics so what are the topics that you have to see here so the first one being linear algebra that is the mat matrix algebra linear equations eigenvalues eigenvectors okay you might have read this about in your m1 m2 uh, uh, classes okay in your college semester examinations then you have the calculus where you have uh, improper integrals okay limit continuity differentiability partial derivatives total derivatives taylor series maxima minima okay gauss divergence curl theorem vec vector identities and all the other terms okay that is the stokes theorem gauss theorem greens theorem so questions from this but these particular topics are always asked to you then you have the differential equation again a very easy part where questions are asked to you and you can easily solve just go through these subtopics then you have the complex variable complex number polar form of complex number and triangle inequality and finally you have the probability and statistics part and you have the numerical methods where from numerical methods every year you will be finding that a two mark question will always be asked to you okay so just remember one thing that these were the subjects and you have to go through them uh, what you can do is if you want to just note down this syllabus, take the screenshot of uh, each and every slide which I have presented here uh, for you and here what you can do, you can subscribe to this Gyanway YouTube channel and whenever uh, we have anything uh, uh, to share with you, we'll just post it okay, and press the bell, bell icon so that whenever we are live or whenever we have to share something with you, you can directly get a notification. I hope you found this video useful. Okay, Just subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and we'll be coming back soon with some more additional information. So till then, thank you.